Hi there, it's me Sandy again, and I have a few scents to share with you that I have been collecting lately. So um, first I'll do the outlier of the group. Um, I have three to talk about that are clean fragrances, clean smelling, um, like fresher, and then this one is not that, <laughs> but it's just pretty. So I wanted to share it, and sadly, the way that they did the box it kind of just destroyed the box um, when I took the wrapper off. But this is Nanette by Nanette Lepore. The bottle, get ready for the beautiful bottle. <laughs> it's so pretty. So this is a fragrance that came up time and time and time again when I would do searches on Fragrantica looking for scents that um, would be like warm and spicy and cozy and blah 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 so i finally found it i think i got it on ebay or fragrance net i don't remember it's discontinued but you can still get it so it's so pretty so let me spray just to remind my nose um this is a mature sensuous type of fragrance to me so um, it's rosy and powdery. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's a little rosy, a little ambery and powdery. Um, a little skin-like musk quality to it, just a hint. It's, I don't know if it has cashmere. I haven't looked the notes up in a while. Um, when I first smelled it, it reminded me a lot of um, Amber Musk by Erin. They're not the same. This has definitely got a rosy quality to it, whereas that has a coconutty quality. But it's that kind of fragrance. It's that type of smell, that quality of like warm, powdery, a little spicy, a little comfortable, just pretty. This one to me, compared to Amber Musk, is, um, well, definitely rosy and um, a little more mature and really beautiful. This would be beautiful in like a black cocktail dress. I think lightly it would be really nice at work even, um, but it, it could be a good date night scent for sure. I think it's a little sensual, so. That is the lovely, sadly discontinued, but still available, Nanette by Nanette Lepore. Okay, so then the next three are more in a like, theme together. Okay, I don't think I've talked about any of these. So the first one I had heard about, read about so many times, was so sure that I would love, and I don't love it. Um, but I'm gonna tell you about it and I'll eventually be selling it because somebody would love it. So this is Stairway to Heaven by Juliet Mad. Um, it came without a lid. So this one is it's interesting and reviews led me to know that it was gonna be an interesting fragrance. So right off the bat, it's fruity. Hmm, that's funny, I'm liking it more this time than the other times that I've smelled it. That's funny how fragrances are. <laughs> um, so it's a, it's a little fruity, it's definitely musky. It's almost watermelony. Like if I had to pick the scent, the fruitiness, kind of watermelony, kind of kiwi-y. I don't know but it has a mineralic quality to it that ends up like what I felt like when I was wearing this was if you've ever had dry ice, like the kind, when I was a little girl, my parents were ministers. My dad was a minister and my mom, they worked together and they did a lot of youth ministry things. And so like Halloween parties and all this stuff for the youth group and my mom, it seemed like often had need for dry ice so they would go to Baskin Robbins and buy dry ice 
and then you put it in water, you know, when you get that vapor that comes up and it has the dry ice smell of, in the vapor. So it's this very mineralic, vaporous smell and that's what I get. So I feel like if you took a LaCroix drink, okay, a LaCroix watermelon or a, um, some sort of a melony fruity LaCroix and turned it into dry ice, that's, it's like an essence of a hint of the fruitiness with this mineralic vaporousness. That's what I smell in uh, Stairway to Heaven. So I know that sounds weird. I do think it's weird. It is good. I need to try it again. Um, I'm jury's out on this one for me. Um, it's, it's an odd one. <laughs> um, okay, the next one, I also don't think I've talked about and I've worn actually quite a bit, is Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby Street. And it's got a magnetic cap, it's kind of cool. Um, I got it really cheap on eBay. This one's really hairspray-like to me. So I get like full-on 1980s, I don't know if it's Aquanet or what, um, hairspray at first though. And then it just becomes a really fresh, really pleasant, um, clean, kind of floral musky scent. I can't think of anything that it reminds me of other than hairspray. Um, and that sounds like a bad thing, but it's not uh, in a weird way. Um, every time I've worn this, I've gotten compliments from coworkers that I smell so good. So this seems like a crowd pleaser and it can be had for quite affordably. So that is Derek Lamb 10 Crosby Street. The bottle feels better and looks better than it does in pictures. Okay, and then the last one is one that I've known that I wanted for a really long time and I saw it for super cheap for a little 30 mil and that is Flower Bomb Dew. Now this does smell like the original Flower Bomb, so it definitely doesn't stray too far from its roots, um, but it is lighter and fresher and um, a little more effervescent. It's sweet, it's crystallized sugar, and like a, um, just a dewy, sugary sweet musk is what it kind of is. That very much smells like the original and like a um, sugar-free version, or not sugar-free, because it smells real sugary, in a, um, just a lighter, a low, L-E-A-U version, or like an effervescent. So really pretty, very feminine, um, more feminine than I'm usually drawn to. I like unisex, I like juniper and earthy, um, but this is really pretty and it can't be denied. <laughs> um, so anyway, those are just some fun fragrances I've been playing with and enjoying and I wanted to share those with you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.